StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload! This is a game between Massa and Vibe on Newkirk Precinct. In the bottom left side of the map we have the red Terran player, it is Massa! And in the bottom right side of the map we have the blue Zerg player, it is Vibe from Root Gaming. Alright, so a TVZ from WCS Austin Group Stages. Again, once I actually have replays from WCS 2017 Yon Shopping, I will start casting those. Hopefully they'll get posted to lotv.spawningtool.com sooner rather than later. But until then, they do have all these replays. If you want to check them out, including this one, a uh, quick plug for my podcast. If you're listening, thank you so much. There's a new episode up, usually every Tuesday or Wednesday somewhere along those lines. We talk about video games and books and movies and technology and all sorts of stuff that you're probably interested in. If you have any feedback, let me know at falconpaladin at gmail.com or in the comments of this video. Also, any suggestions of things we could talk about, we want to entertain. So, Wade and I will be working on that. Alright, hatch on the way for Vibe. You can do this against Terran. You've been able to do this against Terran since time immortal. I also pre-ordered StarCraft Brood War Remastered last week. It was eh, about a week ago now at this point. $15 seemed like a pretty good deal. I've bought Brood War more times than I can count to make up for the fact that I pirated it the first time I ever played it. Yes, that's right. The first time I ever played StarCraft, me and a bunch of friends went to, I want to say it was Target? Yep, it was probably Target, and purchased one copy of StarCraft, burned it six times, and played LAN parties for the rest of the night. It was a good time. It was definitely a good time. So one racks expand here. Out of Massa, do we have a Reaper name ready to go? We have so many Reaper names on the list right now. Have I actually put them in the Reaper list is the question of the day. And the answer is I'm not entirely certain that I have. Nevertheless, we can pull one up here. We'll pull one up here. No problem. Do, 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 do. Let's take a look at Reaper names. Somebody, somebody named Alex put in like a million Reaper names the other day. And if I can find those... We will be just fine. Is that a third hatch? Third hatch on the way from Vibe that this Reaper passes. Crikey. Feeling very brave here. Two Lings chasing that Reaper away. <laughs> Why? Why can I find... Here we go. Zeb. This Reaper's name is Zeb. Let's name him before he dies. Can we do that? I think we can do that. While training to be an engineer on Core Hall, Zeb developed a mental illness, which made him extremely aggressive. This condition led him to abandoning his education and joining the Reaper program in order to satisfy his newfound lust of violence. To this day, he enjoys anything even mildly sadistic, such as beating up the new Marines or murdering innocent people on the fringe worlds he was sent to protect. Holy smokes, Zeb! I think we're rooting for this guy to die. Sorry, man. Sorry, Zeb, but that's what we're rooting for here. Hellions on the way from Massa. He's got a starport coming in as well. Zeb, let's KDA charge, not hit anything whatsoever. Good. Good, Zeb. Man, just, he's a sadist. That's bad. That's bad news for anybody in the military. I mean, I'm not going to fool myself into thinking there are no sadists in the military because it kind of attracts those kind of people, but it's not good. It's not good if they start harming innocent civilians. Overlord does escape. So Overlord here escapes the Marine. So that's inside Massa's base. Hellions trying to roast up. Ah, Zeb here too. Zeb plus Hellions is a good combination. Taking out a couple drones there, which was real nice. Okay, one drone. One drone there. Are they trying to fight this queen? They're trying to fight this queen. Two Hellions and a Reaper? Are you kidding me? Go Zeb! Go Zeb! KD8 charge blows it back. And Zeb! Zeb has two kills. Did he get credit for that? He might have gotten credit for that queen kill. That's amazing. Spore Crawler going to finish for Vibe because what else do you do? Two more queens coming in from the natural base. Vibe is playing the mass queen defense, which is pretty good in the early game here. Drone's going to transfer down to this third base. There are three queens here. Oh, they do think out a creep tumor, though. Oh, Zeb! Zeb gets killed by queens. Sorry, Zeb. Pretty good pretty good job, though, I would say. Probably got, what, credit for a drone kill and a queen kill? And Vibe is supply blocked as well. This Viking did pick off that slower lord from earlier. Might get this one as well. Sneaking in. MMS are thinking about sneaking in. No. Nope, Raven coming in here as well. Okay, now this is something we've seen. We've seen this where Terran players go for this early Raven, these early Hellions for Harass, and they do some damage, but it kind of slows down their mid-game push. And I don't think I've seen a Terran player win against a Zerg after going Raven early on. It's a fairly small sample size, so don't take this as gospel. 
but it makes me wonder if something's wrong. Like, it's just, if it just delays it too much, right? More Hellions coming in here to the surveys. Oh, stacking them up. Vibe. Losing eight drones. Are you kidding? Nine drones, 10, 11 drones. Okay, if you're doing this, though, as one Hellion gets killed, you kill 11 drones with one Hellion push. That's pretty fantastic. I'm going to assume the Viking got a couple drones as well. Maybe one. Maybe one down here inside the main base. Roach Warren. Coming in for Vibe here. Recognizes I need something to do with all of these Hellions. Lings might not do it. Creep Tumor is getting picked off at the front as well. And this Queen Defense getting bigger and bigger all the time for Vibe. He has eight. He's working on number nine. Wants to spread this Creep. Doing okay with it. Doing okay spreading Creep considering there is a big handful of Hellions out here. Seven of them. And there used to be eight. Where is this, where is this Raven at? Raven's here. Raven's going to help pick off Creep Tumors is what he's going to do. More and more Hellions. On the way, but getting stim. So Mass is going to transfer. Well, transition is probably a better word into bio at some point here. But it's a lot of Hellions and a Raven early on. Four barracks on the way. Yeah. We're going to see some bio. Hellion and the, and the Hellbat transfer. Hellbat transfer coming in. There's no medevac support. So this is just Hellbats with Ravens for detection. And there are roaches here from Vibe, but they're kind of struggling in a little bit. Auto turret. Getting some good damage off there as well. Queen should probably pick off one of these Ravens, and they do. Auto turret thrown down first, though. It's a pretty big battle. Hellbat, auto turret versus Queen. These Hellbats, man, they do not mess around. Picking off Roaches. Sneaking some of the units into the third base. Vibe going to lose a lot of stuff in this third. I think Massa to sacrifice the group on the left so that he could take care of the stuff. Uh, um, sorry, sacrifice the group on the right so he could take care of the stuff on the left. These poor drones. Where are they going to go? Auto turret available? No, they are kind of stuck. A little stuck. Go drones, go. No, nine drones killed. It's 55 to 53 harvesters. Like I've said, you do some damage, but you don't really take a lead necessarily. He does have a third base, which is really useful. Good job, Massa. Taking care of that. Is that a counterattack of roaches from Vibe? Possibly. Possibly that's what it is. Raven does have two kills. Hellion with four. Hellion with four. Hellion with one. So Overlord scouting this third base does get picked off by Vikings, but he saw it. He saw the third base, and Vibe coming in with a small group of Roaches. But there's a tank now. Oh, Massa just got a tank right in the nick of time. Just so good. So good against Roach. Infestation Pit on the way from Vibe. Another Extractor on the way for the Zerg player at the same time. Getting Burrow, getting Glio Break Constitution. Plus one, plus one for his Roaches. It looks like a Roach Ravager mid-game, which can be pretty good against an opponent who's late on their upgrades. As Massa is going to be. Is he working on plus one, plus one right now? At almost eight minutes, he's got it started. Well, about halfway done. Maybe he could hit the plus three timing at around 12 minutes or so, but it's not going to be super early. Regardless, Pathogen Glands on the way from Vibe 2. I love this. Roach, Ravager, and Fester. Pretty fantastic. <laughs> Marines taking down Queens here at the front lines. And going to do it. Actually, several Queens getting killed here. These Queens are like, ah! What do we do? This Marine group, I think, is just going to suicide to take this Queen group down. That's eight Queens that have been killed. Are you kidding me? Meanwhile, Auto Turret here in the main base kills three drones. The main base of Vibe. This Raven kind of spinning around doing donuts. Showing off. Another Auto Turret does go down. And Roach has cleared that guy out pretty quickly, though. Scouting a fourth base that Vibe is working on up north. Viking going to try to get rid of it. A Marine tank push with Metavac support with Hellbats. In there as well, coming in right towards this third base. And I don't see really anything here. Raven allowing creep tumors to get killed without having to waste scans. Pretty great, actually. Roaches do kill the Viking that was going after that fourth base. But tank setting up on this high ground is a difficult position for Vibe here. Tank can splash all the way down into that mineral line. Extractor gets killed as well. Vibe is feeling very put upon right now, I would say. Six infestors. In production for Vibe, though, Roaches don't want to really attack this position. There's two tanks, Hellbats, a bunch of Marines. And can they hit that hatchery? Uh, no, really? I thought they could. Doesn't matter. Hatch is going to die. Third hatch is dead for Vibe. And Broodling's killed as well, obviously. Counterattack of Roaches, though, coming right on into this third base. A great wall of supply depots. Keeping the roaches away until the tanks get into siege position. This is looking really bad for Vibe. He can't really touch this third base. He can't really go after the fourth base, which is coming up north from the third. And there's the infestors need to get some amazing fungals right now. Where are they going? Oh, there's a drop. 
There's a drop in the main of Vibe as well. Roach is trying to deal with this not going particularly well. Roach is trying to get rid of the stuff here at the third base. Location doing a little bit better, but the tank splash doing so much work. More drones getting destroyed. More roaches showing up. You got to get out of there, Massa. You're going to lose most everybody and almost everybody's dead except for four. Marines, Burrow. Oh, Neural Parasite on the way, but Burrow and Fester. A Chain Fungal right here would be good. Okay, there we go. Chain Fungal on this group of another Fungal here. Doing some jobs. Woo! It's a lot of dead stuff. This attack here at the third. Roach is trying to break it. The Infestors are getting chased, though. No, Infestor by themselves. The Fungal trying to keep them alive. Doesn't get all the Marines, though, and every single Infestor is going to die. This one might just barely escape. Roaches do clear out the attack here, but it's 157 to 138 total supply. Roach is getting right on top of this Marine tank army. Getting rid of the tank. First of all, more Marines coming in. It's a pretty chaotic battle here. Plus one, plus one is done for the Roaches, but plus one, plus one done for Massa as well in his bio, and he's got some Marauders mixed in at the same time. This Infestor could probably come down and help pretty immensely here. Roaches, does he have any Raviders? He needs some Raviders. Because I feel like what he needs, but he spent all of his gas on Infester instead. There's the Fungal, catches the nice Fungal, and the Roaches clear it out. Clutch Fungal, clutch Fungal out of that Infester to be sure. But it is four base for Massa compared to, well, I guess it is four base for Vibe as well. But that Medivac group is big. There's ten Medivacs with two more on the way all the time. Plus two, plus two finishing for Massa at 11 and a half minutes. How are we doing on the upgrades on the Roaches? Not great. Not fantastic. More Infestors coming in. Got Glow Reconstitution and Burrow and Pathogen Glands and Neural Parasite. I don't know what the Neural Parasite is for. Maybe the Neural Parasite tanks, I suppose. This Burrow Infestor is very sneaky. Trying to see where this army is going. They're heading up to your fourth base. Gotta catch them. Gotta catch them before they get there. He is sending Roaches up. Good scouting by that Infestor. And Roaches getting in here. They're getting in here, but then has the sides to back on out. Says, all right, still got an extractor, a couple drones as well. Maybe rejoin with my army in the middle, 181 to 154 total supply. That is why Mazza is so good. He can do all that harass out at the beginning. He can continue dropping throughout the whole game, but then he still has a giant army mid-game he can rely on here at 12 minutes. Dropping here at the third or fourth base of Vibe, rather. Queens trying to get rid of these medivacs. Is there anything to drop? There's really nothing to drop here. It was a feint! Oh, it was a faint, the army coming into the fifth base instead. Ah, <laughs> well done, Massa. Fifth hatch does end up getting killed. We're down to three bases for five. He never replaced his third. It's one, two, and four is what he's operating on right now. 194 to 176 total supply. Five needs Ravager. Does he could make a bunch of Ravager. He's got 400 gas here, but he's trying to transition into Spire. He's replacing his infestation pit. Did he lose that? He lost it. He lost... No? Why is he making another one? Yeah, he's making another infestation pit. That's weird. Maybe he lost it. Coming in from both sides. There's fungals, but there's roaches. And there's some ravagers here as well. But too many tanks, too many marines, too many marauders with plus two, plus two. Medivac count way too high as well. Infester has enough for another fungal, and that might be it for her. And it is. Can we get some fungal bile down? Stimming forward. Everybody's hurt for Massa, but that's it. A good game out of vibe. His entire army is removed from the game, and Massa is your victor today. Woo! Resources lost. 10,000 for Massa. On the other hand, 15 for Vibe. 38, uh, 38 drones killed and one SCV lost its life in this game. Yeah, 86 roaches. There's so many roaches. Seven infestors, most of them during that one attack where Massa was able to kind of catch them out on their own after some really nice fungals, but they weren't able to hide behind anything and the burrow move isn't fast enough to run away if you're being spotted. Eight queens killed. Remember that that queen attack Massa had to just amazing. Three hatches killed by the Terran player. 112 marines died, five tanks, a raven, and ten hellbats. Hmm. So that's going to be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter. Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.